I'm going back to my roots. I'm shedding all pretense of exploitation and taking advantage of the downtrodden. All I truly want to do. All I truly want to do. Was this here all along? I don't know where that one came from, but it's going to be amazing. All I truly want to do is to slaughter each and every one of these disgusting Xenos. I've been pretending like, oh, I'm going to be an enlightened part of the elite. But no, no, my true calling is extermination. And look at the incredible tools of destruction that I am putting at the disposal of the Dodecahedron Doctrine. My true calling is to eliminate, to obliterate, erase from existence all of these disgusting geometrical shapes so that we can be cleansed and restart anew with anything that goes above five angles and more. Let's go back home and spend even more resources on more murder. We need special points for that. Yes, I need to have this. I need to have more defense, but unfortunately I don't have the resources to get it, so might as well spend my resources on more damage. Which is to say that my time in the extermination fields will be short, but it will be well spent. All of these buffoons exploding wonderful currency, and like feasting upon the entrails of the carcass of the beast that I hunt down, I put their organs into my pockets and make them into the money that I spend to become even better at exterminating them in a vicious cycle of destruction and self-improvement, basically embracing the doom of my soul for the betterment of my faction, embracing my debasement and full descent into depravity for the betterment of my society let's just put more points there let's take a small look at what sure what resources i need to continue advancing it's all reds like i don't need to invest in any cryptocurrency all i need is bits except for this one right here which would be pretty nice but for now, let's just spend the reds. Get ourselves some more crit damage and more for the finishing blow. Go back into the breach. Give myself more satiation of my bloodthirst. I cannot come here often enough. After... I was willing to tolerate the old blondes, man. I was going to be like, oh, sure, we can exploit them all. But once the multi-angled, acute monstrosities of the star-shaped descent into depravity. Ever since that, that I came to witness that, it just, it, they all need to go. All need to go. I'm embracing this fate for myself. Abandon all those silly, lofty goals of joining the ruling class no 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 i am their tool for extermination at last we get a glimpse of current levels the current levels super square super boss i suppose that we will eliminate it prestige level 13 unlocked we continue swimming upwards in this river of sewage sure oh that maxes that all right Swimming upwards in this river of sewage. Oh, it turns out that, that I can max that out in one go. Amazing. And put another point over there. We have 8,000 more that I, we cannot spend. I'm just going to find all the... Oh, that's right. Continue going into the void. No return. Wonder what that means. I have no idea what that means. This is starting to, starting to intimidate me, but it is indeed the philosophy that I have embraced. No return. There is no return from this sewage, sewage waiting fate that I have given myself. I thought that maybe I could make something better of my existence, but there truly is no escape. There is no return whatsoever. 
to a life where I didn't know that these star-shaped monstrosities did not exist. So they all must be brought down. And if I go down with them, then so be it. I will be a willing sacrifice for the betterment of my society. Unlike these selfish, trash, void-dwelling, floating, garbage, dwellers, trash monsters, I understand the better, the, the greater good. That was like complete obliteration, a presti prestige level. So what is no return? What is no return? Prestige level 13 was just annihilated. I need to know. There's no return. Where? <laughs> okay, well, it just keeps going up and up and up. Give me that expenditure. Prestige level 14. My deadly power is unstoppable. My army of idiots who are just as committed as I am, for they are entirely brainwashed to the cause. I have choice and I have chosen to invest myself fully into the extermination of the lower castes and their disgusting spawns of the void. But they, they are just slaves to my cause. I have enslaved their will. There is nothing they can do. I mean, they're lowly rhombuses. What do you expect? Some kind of pentagonal treatment? No, the best they can aspire is to work as mindless drones for my cause. Don't feel even slightly bad about their fate, for they do serve a purpose. Oh, man, it just the boss just got obliterated. Things are starting to go a little too well. What is the moment that I decided to just embrace violence and the extermination? So what do you need? Just another one of these points, huh? In the distance. <laughs> it just... Uh, the mystery, the mystery of the path of no return continues to be unraveled. We need blues for this one. Let me hover over all the, all the, the ones that are red. So we do need a few more investments. I, it, it is looking like we just need cryptocurrency for those. That one you need blues. And this one needs just a level. All right. So it is the time to go into the crypto mine. Upgrade the speed to be a to unconscionable levels, unconscionable level, just, it is gone. It's completely gone. <laughs> the, the, the currency just disappears. I'm okay with that though, because it enables me to improve that much faster. Back into the breach, presti prestige level 15. Things like, it seems like we have reached the top of this ladder. We are now orbital bombarding these fools. No stopping this train of destruction this boat of devastation this amazing airplane of bombardment i guess uh, the alliteration did not work out but i i am not one to be mincing words and i'm not one to be mixing words together for i am a tool of destruction and nothing else i am not somebody that will start waxing poetry like one of those pansies in their ivory towers i am down here in the muck exterminating the filth that never ends we found another boss and we obliterated it and there's just no going back to who we were before so that means that we do get another point to spend something happens if you continue going up there oh, something will happen wonder what will happen give me some more currency so that i can invest it chance to create a chain and lightning when hitting an enemy plus 200 percent crit chance sure oh it, it requires eight levels now what is on this side uh yeah yeah yeah. we want that let's continue putting points in that putting blues in that sure and what does this do thundering plus we do percent lightning damage lightning chains needs some sopus sure oh man it requires quite a few huh Let's just invest all our money in the lightning. This is going to, if before ep epileptic seizures were a risk, now they're a certainty. There's going to be so many flashing effects on screen. There is no way anybody watching this carnage is not now writhing on the floor with the most horrendous epileptic attack of their entire lives. 
maybe is one of those uh, chances, those instances where I am uh, legally obliged to uh, give you an epileptic warning before you start viewing this absolute depravity of destruction and glory for the dodecahedron dominion. Many pat bags, many bat back pads have come down the pipeline. My email is constantly flooded with praise and encouragement from my superiors as I have finally embraced the utter elimination of the filth. Another prestige level has been reached. Uh, something will happen. Something indeed will happen as we go into these levels. Event Horizon. An Event Horizon. That is uh, ominous indeed. Let's see. Let's just keep putting points into the lightning. This requires blues, which I have none of. Continue putting points into that. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. We maxed it out. Give me some extra crit damage. Start that session once more. The prestige level it is constantly going up. Wonder if it's uh, the big difference of getting that plus one percent of armor for every second that I spend here, or it's just preordained what happens in this land. You get to a certain prestige level and uh, an amount of resources, and the destruction is just a chain reaction. We have entered the nuclear era, and I am just making those uranium rods unstable enough to kick off the Chernobyl disaster, so to speak. And uh, there is just no going back. All I need to do is hover my, my reticle like waving a wand and destruction follows. Hardly any work is required anymore. Just need to be here to grab all the spoils of battle. Another prestige level unlocked. Let us go past the event horizon. For curiosity, may kill this cat. Singularity, right? It just continues getting more and more ominous. It truly does fill my heart with dread, but not enough dread that I will not continue traversing this whole void of purpose. All right, give me more cryptocurrency. Invest every last penny. Everything needs to be invested instantly. Converted. Give me the giant crit chance. Give me some more of those super attacks. Prestige level 18. Same as the last one. Only even more back pads coming down from above. I keep climbing up that ladder. And with every climb, there's a salary, salary increase. But you could just pay me in peanuts for all I care. For all that I need. All I need is for sustenance. Is the death of the filth that stands before us. The level of obliteration happening right now. It is too fast. At last I am reaching a point where I am holding back the red heathen hordes before they were overwhelm my space and harsh my mellow. Here they are falling wholesale to my might. Barely did that mega square make it into the screen. Did not have a single chance of survival. The singularity will be attained. Okay, all right. We can unlock the laboratory. This uh, fills me with with an ease. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Increase yellow enemy spawn rates. Sure, we want more yellows. Uh, another land to another land to explore. God Virus Research Lab. Okay, we can deposit some money. Oh, we deposit all of our money. We need to get to a thousand. Oh, crap. That is a lot, but hey, we gotta now invest one million at a time. So that's definitely a thing that gets to happen. I will not invest anymore. I need more destructive power. I need more capability of annihilating the enemies. So that's what I'm going to put points in. But my prestige level continues to climb and uh, the pile of enemies does not climb with it. Truly pathetic. Now I am at the point where, uh, please, I need to not be so effective. I need to maybe tone down the slaughter because 
I need more currency to be able to research the genovirus that will finally destroy all of you for good. Here I was using brute force, explosive ordnance, just destroying everything, blowing it up to smithereens. No, man, the destruction must come from within the enemy. They must obliterate themselves in a shower of genetic gore. They will become defective and go straight into the abyss of the techno soul. So what happens? Is there any more? No, you just go and unlock the lab and that's about it, huh? Uh, I would like to get further down this line because this is where the resource generation is at. Really don't quite care about getting more uh, deadly power, but sure, I will continue getting points in that on um, that regard. Actually, we want to go to the crypto mine, invest a bajillion, a bajillion points. Thing is, we need so many more crypto bucks that we need to just keep going back into the breach. Now we are here awaiting for the Red Scourge to regain its strength. I've been far too effective and now it is far too easy to eliminate the dregs. These are but children. They are the, the silly, pathetic, inconsequential offspring of the people that were truly a, a, a threat to me. Please, I need more of your numbers so that the science can be fed. This arc is becoming a little too overcomplicated. It's just too much. My soul cannot take it anymore. I went from pathetic foot soldier, ba barely holding back the line, to investment banker, exploiting those below me, then to embracing the absolute destruction and obliteration, and the realizing that it turns out if you truly want to embrace destruction, you need to do it from within. And therefore, I need to create more enemies so that they reach a critical mass capable of getting me to the where I want to be. So therefore, here I am once more, going, wading into their depths, maybe through the harvest of enough of these red bits that pop out of their veins, explode from their angular entrails. We'll be able to afford the research that needs to happen. Quite the grind, but I am ready to watch all of these pathetic buffoons explode before me. Enough prestige should be attained eventually so they that, that they become a threat once more. I am the bit lord. I have collected 10 million, but I still cannot afford this because it requires too many blues. So sure, we'll put that point there. And I believe we have reached the maximum level of everything except for this entire wing of development. So we'll just deposit everything we've got. Every one of my millions goes into research. It's going to totally pay for itself start that session and we'll continue on going down this path of obliteration i am willing to be in there for the long haul you think that i am uh, sure just by now you, you should know that there is no short commitment here there is no fickle will behind my impetus there is no way that you're going to dissuade me simply by saying well this is actually going to take a little while so sit back and continue blasting those fools i only embrace the massacre i only cherish this extra time that i'm going to be able to spend busting these heretical notes get me all of your money there's another square like instantly gets murdered truly impressive put some more money in there slowly we're going to make it we're going to definitely make enough money to get the investment necessary it looks like it's going slow now but it truly will be done very very soon because every time we go back in there the prestige level continues going up the scaling of these garbage people will continue going up and now it used to be that I, oh i'm climbing this rung 
finding even more stronger foes to fight. There is no end to their numbers and their strength, but now it is I driving up their power because they will ultimately provide their very own demise. They simply don't know it yet. They just accept the blessings that I throw upon them like they are some kind of boon from the skies above. Little did the, do they know it is a deal with the devil. These damned blessings come straight from the land below and they will be their undoing. At last we get another level of these, but the blues, man, the blues are just not coming. We need more. That's okay. I have more millions to invest. We continue going back into the breach. Go back into the further annihilation of my... At this point, they are more than enemies. They are my antagonists, yes. They are my opposing force. But they're also, in a way, my life's purpose. Once I c attain the complete obliteration of them through the spread of this genovirus super... A demise. What will happen to my purpose? Will I be a hollow shell of who I used to be? Will I just embrace oblivion and a job well done? Would I retire to the Maldivas and just sip on margaritas while Jennifer suckles on my dickles? I don't know, but eventually we're going to find out because the obliteration does not stop. Every one of my foes bites the dust, gets absolutely destroyed. Go back into the crypto mine, continue investing those millions. It just keeps going up and up and up and up. And then we go back into the breach. It never stops. There is no stopping this train. There's always more experience to be gained. I grow elderly and wizened. My spirit continues to be beaten down by the constant exposure to the barrage of destruction and mayhem and massacre, but I will persevere nonetheless. My continued experience shall serve as the dodecahedron dominion in the end. I am but a servant to be spent in their unholy glory, and there is no turning back like the note that I purchased said. There is no return from this singularity. Jennifer shall not suckle on my nipples anytime soon if I keep going this way, for my soul shall be lost far before the Geno super virus makes a disaster out of these monsters. Go back to the crypto mine, put some more millions into this. There should be a 10 million investment button at the rate that we're going. Another milestone was achieved, though. 1,600 of those? Great stuff. It's just some more destruction. The milestones that are still to come. The prestige level continues going up. Like, there is still more power to be given to these squares. And yet, my power is so outsized compl compared to the tides of red, blue, and yellow that come at me that still they barely make it into my line of vision before they all get obliterated. Very happy though that they continue to be no match whatsoever for the amazing pile of damage that I keep pulling out. Do I even need to aim my attacks? Of course I don't. I'm just here collecting. Collecting all this good stuff. It belongs to me. And by me, I mean it belongs to science. You pathetic trash garbage. At least you didn't indulge in creating even more angular abominations. One day we're going to have enough blues to get more levels of these. Don't you worry about a thing. Give me also... Ah, I, can, I can no longer upgrade the speed of the investments. That is just too bad. We're getting there. Look at that. Look at that. Let's, let's get in there. Oh, we're only a few more prestige levels away. So what happens if I simply just sit back and watch it happen with my arms crossed behind my neck? Well, the resources pile up. The obliteration does happen. My minions have been properly trained. There is nothing for else for me to do. But oh boy, does need somebody to collect 
the spoils of battle. <laughs> oh, perhaps the most satisfying. At last, I can just sit back and watch the obliteration happen. Truly, my investment banker soul uh, was never truly a uh, shed. It never was left behind. And now have become the parasite at the top of the food chain. As far as destruction gets co is concerned, I have no delusions of grandeur that I belong in any kind of, you know, governing body. We're just going to wait for one of those. The virus is ready. The virus is ready. What happens when you deploy the virus? I am a little, a little intimidated by the prospect of deploying this virus. I would like to all get, I would like to max this out because I definitely want to have a maxed out tree. So we're going back to the breach. I'm slightly intimidated by the fact that this virus is now ready. It had a terrible, terribly dangerous look to it. And I am now leery of unleashing this virus into the wild. What if it does a COVID and it just turns around and infects the people that I was trying to protect? What if I am now Chinese government saying, oh, let's release this virus. Oops, it is, has now become a threat that we can destroy our populace with. What if I am only a tool in the path of fate? And fate itself has decided that I am their hands. And the fate is not just the obliteration of the lower caste. What guarantee is there that this is not going to end? Oh, the prestige level doesn't climb any further than 25. Do we truly, truly have reached the end of this path? We are at destiny's end? My holy mission has come to fruition i have the panacea in my hands i need only to drop it upon this pit of damnation this dark void of debauchery and sin that i have come time and time and time again to try and hold back oh it will be the final tool that will at last erase the existence of these pathetic wretches but do I dare? Do I dare finally meet the fate that I was created to bring about? Or do I continue faffing about embracing destruction for the sake of it? For the time being, I need to go back and embrace destruction for the sake of it. And I'm saying I'm going to keep doing that for a little while. At the very least, I want to be a fully developed individual. Uh, before I unleash this horrible tool destruction upon the population. So never mind me, I will just be right down here in the muck, harvesting all the resources that I require to achieve my personal improvement nirvana. And once I am done with that, then maybe, maybe I'll be ready to deploy the ultimate destruction of these sad, pathetic life forms. For the time being, though, I'm just going to keep harvesting resources. Never mind me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It never gets old. It never gets old. You would think that I would stand here and be jaded with the massacre? Be tired of watching? these wretches be destroyed absolutely not i return from the breach drenched in the entrails of my enemies and yet i desire more it's over though it is over even though we did not reach all these silly milestones why would i want them for when i am reach beyond the dreams of the lowly pentagons that decided to rebel so many ages ago everything has been attained and now, now, we go into the lab to deploy this virus. Now! Deploying the virus. Virus being deployed. Virus deployed! Yay! It has been unleashed upon the lower castes. Finally, we are rid of the trash.
never mind the my drone strike program crashed it's fine it's fine we just don't need it anymore it is time for me to retire to the maldivas jessica where is jessica i don't know where she's at but she's going to suckle on those nipples and she's going to be amazing i finally i think her name was jennifer look i you can't try to make me remember the name of my secretary they gave it her to me like 10 years ago we have a very bad relationship excellent stuff we finally got rid of that trash that was dragging down our society praise be to the dodecahedron dominion